the DBM was the reference which was given to the dB in terms of voltage and was defined as 0.775 of a volt in a 600 ohm circuit, which, if you do the arithmetic, you'll find is equal to one milliwatt of power. Now, we don't really want to get into the power business because um, it is really quite complicated to understand. In the old days of Rupert Neve and Company, when we wanted to sell consoles to CBS in America, we found that they were using a, a different uh, reference, not 600 ohms, but 150 ohms. And so if you get down into the uh, reasons for that, uh, that was affecting the design of their output transformers and their whole system. It's too complicated to get into a, a verbal description of what went on. But I do remember that uh, another senior engineer of mine um, <coughs> who was with me on one of those occasions when we had a whole room full of uh, CBS engineers uh, who were battling with us over these specs. And it amounted to the same thing. Um, their way of defining it was excellent. Our way of defining it was excellent. But on paper, we had to conform to what they wanted. And uh, um, my uh, engineering friend was just getting very fed up with after some hours of this discussion. And he just thumped the table and he said, do you mind, gentlemen, let's get down to the brass tacks. <laughs> what difference does it make to the sound? <laughs> And that kind of, instead of having us all fired and never sold another console, um, they actually accepted it. And they said, well, you're absolutely right. Let's stop messing about with the figures and um, accept the fact that the consoles that you're producing are the best there are. So <laughs> they, they actually went ahead and placed a substantial order for equipment. My chief engineer, Jeff Watts, and I, um, <clears throat> were debating this, and we decided that because on the uh, meters that were fitted to consoles to measure the sound, the, the, the level of electrical output from these consoles, and this was measured in units which were volume units, and they were typically called VU meters, volume units. So we said, well, that is much more accurate than to say the, the decibels in relation to a milliwatt. So we started to define all our specifications with DBU. That is to say, um, a reference was made way back in 1963 by Jeff Watts and I. And surprise, surprise, that was adopted by the industry, and now the DBU is universally accepted throughout the audio business.